Hi everyone, uh, happy Thursday. It is time for tips on Thursday and um, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about what you do once you're engaged. Um, a lot of couples have trouble figuring out what that first step is. Um, but before I get started and while I wait for a few people to join here, um, I wanted to make sure that you've seen our recent blog posts. Um, first blog post, um, or sorry, first blog post, not the first blog post. The blog post that we put up yesterday um, is how to pick a venue, some tips and tricks, some insider information, if you will, on um, how to go about making some decisions. Um, on how to pick a venue and obviously if you need some more help with that I'm happy to answer any questions um, you guys can always go to the Facebook page and insert some questions in any of the comments there or comment here and I'm happy to answer um, and then also I want to let you guys know and I'm just looking at the details here um, that next Tuesday, the 17th, so depending when you look at that, it could be a different Tuesday, but next Tuesday, the 17th, I am doing a webinar with Brittany Collier Studios um, with the Create Initiative, and um, it is a goal-setting webinar. And so we are going to be joined by Tiffany Tolliver of Emma Rose Agency and Brittany Robinson, um, who is a marketing and branding person and the four of us are going to give you some information on how to create vision boards and set some goals and some very measurable actions that you can take um, and I will just give you a teaser here um, we have a lot of free takeaways from the webinar free webinar and um, that you can sign up and there will be a replay if you're not a happen to be available that Tuesday evening um, but my portion uh, is actionable steps to reach your goals and some things that you can do in your free time so I hope that you'll join us for that and um, you'll get a copy of that when you're in the webinar so um, like I said today I just wanted to talk about some basic what can we do when we first get engaged and what are some steps that we can take so I've talked a little bit about some of these things before and I'm gonna kind of go a little bit further. So first thing is to create your guest list and your wedding budget. So I have a lot of clients that come to me and they just don't even know where to start with their budget. Um, you know, they don't know how much a wedding's gonna cost. They don't know if it's gonna cost them a different amount here in DC versus doing a destination event or going back to their hometown or whatever that might look like. Um, so one of my comments um, to that is that's, you always have a number in your head. Like what is a number that you're comfortable with spending on your wedding? Um, and that's gonna be important because your guest list is gonna determine how much money that you just have to spend <laughs> because things just cost a certain amount of money. Um, and so you wanna be able to be realistic about what that wedding budget is versus what your guest list is and the things that, that are most important to you. So after your budget and your guest list, which there's another Facebook Live video um, on both of those subjects, that you can go back into our videos on this, um, on Sincerely Pete's page and check out. Um, but once you have those things, you want to, work on booking your ceremony and your reception sites and um, determining what is most important to you. What must you have? What are the most important things to you? And for my clients, I always put this in terms of what they value the most. So different people are gonna value different things and there is no right or wrong answer. It's a personal opinion, it is something that is, um, you know, you as a couple are gonna have to figure out. So um, some people want to throw a big old party, big freaking party, let's party all night, let's dance, let's have a huge band, and like that is their reason for wanting to have a wedding, not for getting married, for having a wedding. Um, and some people are going to want beautiful florals. Like what an amazing opportunity to get to design an event 
and showcase our personal style and let's go crazy with the decor. Um, other people are foodies and they want to have fantastic food, cool stations or unique um, personal things that speak to their relationship, whether that's um, you know, our first date was at an Italian restaurant, so we want to have spaghetti and meatballs, or, um, you know, something along, or like, we want to have a cappuccino bar later in the, in the evening because we got engaged in Italy, or um, everything's Italian. Can you tell I got married in Italy? <laughs> so, um, yeah, now I really want some spaghetti and meatballs and a cappuccino, but I am detoxing, so that's not happening. Um... But you want to find out what it is that you value the most, what it is that you and your partner um, want to be, not even your big budget items, but just what you want to concentrate on and that you know that that is important to you. Because the thing that can happen a lot in wedding planning is that you become overwhelmed by all of the options, all of the choices, and all of the things that you didn't know that you could do. But it turns out in the end that like those aren't actually important to you. So um, we want to have that value up front understand what we what we really want, what we really value, um, so that we can stay focused on that. Um, and as your wedding planner, that is always at the forefront of my mind. Um, besides your, rela your relationship and your budget, I wanna keep those things um, in focus and make sure that those things are actualized for your wedding day. Um, so then we're gonna work on our venue. Um, and you can check out the blog post on venues that I mentioned at the beginning of the podcast, or podcast, Oh, all of a sudden I'm podcasting, uh, Facebook Live. Um, and you can also check out the video that I did from Longview, which is linked in the post um, on our Facebook page. So booking your ceremony and your reception site, sometimes that's the same location, sometimes that's different. Um, but obviously our date is dependent on our venue. Um, and I've said before, Having an uh, open range of dates is obviously beneficial because if you have to get married on May 7th and all of a sudden you find the dream venue and the dream venue is booked for May 7th, dream venue is not an option. But if you keep an open mind into your date, then May 7th is not available, but May 14th is, bingo, dream venue can be booked. Um, yeah, so that's ceremony and reception site. And then once you have the ceremony and reception site booked, uh, then I can, I say, look for your other venues. Some people totally okay. Not saying it's not okay. Uh, but I just think that venues are a little bit harder than some other, some other vendors. No offense to anybody. Um, some people really have a specific vendor that they want. So maybe a caterer, or maybe a photographer is what, photographer is what happens most often. This is my dream photographer. I've been following them on Instagram for years and I have to have them. And they're only available this date. Okay, you've chosen what you value, which is fantastic. Photography is a great thing to value because you're gonna have that forever and ever. Um, and so, you just have to understand that your choices are going to change um, for your reception venue, possibly, um, because that date is the date. Um, the next thing that people need to think about and maybe sort of skip over because they don't think it's that important, um, but especially depending on the time of year and especially on the, depending on the city that you're getting married in, is hotel room blocks. So. I have a few people who I'm doing coordination projects for right now, coordination events, and they didn't think about hotel room blocks. They were told to think about their hotel room blocks. I actually had somebody on the phone with me yesterday say, yeah, the venue person told me I should book my hotel room blocks, and I didn't. <laughs> and now <laughs> everybody's staying at the Best Western because there was no other hotels in the area. Um, Nothing wrong with Best Western either, but there are some other hotels that are close by that they would have preferred their guests to stay at. So, um, so hotel room blocks. 
And you can do, there's several options with hotel room blocks. A wedding planner can help you negotiate these things. Um, my company in particular, we have a travel agent that we work with um, that can get you great deals on, on hotel room blocks. You wanna make sure that you have that figured out. Um, you wanna give options to your guests so that they have places to stay, especially if you're doing something in a destination, especially if it's not gonna be close to an airport or people are gonna be having to make um, other travel arrangements. Um, it makes everybody just feel more comfortable. So, um, that is definitely something that when you are starting to plan your wedding, you wanna think about right away. Um, the other, so in order, sort of um, after that is your photographers and your videographers, your caterers, um, and then thinking about sending a save the date. Um, so depending on where you're, like I said, where your wedding is, if you're doing a destination, destination weddings should always, in my opinion, send out a save the date um, sooner than later. Um, that's why we book our hotel room blocks first. We have a process, people. There are processes, there are steps. We do this for a reason. <laughs> um, so you're gonna send out your save the dates so that people understand what the commitment is gonna be for the wedding. Um, regardless of where your wedding is, there will be people traveling. So um, you want people to feel comfortable in understanding maybe how much they're gonna be paying for that travel. Um, so what are plane tickets looking like? How much is the hotel gonna cost me? Um, so what is that gonna look like for me so that I can commit to being there? You know, if I'm your friend or your family, like obviously I wanna be there, but everybody has um, specific budgets um, for their own personal lives. So um, we're babysitting, dog sitting. Um, this is a shout out to Nancy and Tiffany, your dog. All day, bark, bark, bark. Um, Lola is so pissed off right now. <laughs> My dog Lola is so pissed. Here we go. This is live video, people. Uh, so going back to travel, going back to travel, um, people want to be able to budget. So the sooner that you're able to give them that information, um, it's going to be better for everyone involved and you're going to be able to have the people at your wedding that you want to be there and they're going to be able to afford it and not feel nervous about making those travel plans. Um, yeah. So other than that, the next sort of things on my list besides to save the dates and then obviously we want to book our caterer and our photographer and our videographer and make sure that those major vendors are, are put in place. And then we can start thinking about, um, exactly the decor and the look and what our, um, what those specific things are going to look like. Um, and yeah, so that's sort of what I wanted to talk about today. Um, and obviously as we get, as we book our, those first vendors, then we're going and we're looking at attire and hiring our band and DJ, um, looking at cocktail hour musicians, booking our florists and our makeup artists and, and doing all of that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> Alexandria, <laughs> oh, these dogs. Um, so yeah, so if you have any questions, um, I would love to answer them if you're engaged, if you have a friend who's engaged and is like, oh my God, everybody keeps asking me, when are we getting married? What are we doing? And they like, just don't know where to start. Um, I'd love to sit down and talk with them. I'd love to do a consultation. Um, I love sitting down with, I love meeting new people, sitting down and um, talking with people about just what, who they are as a couple. And then from there being able to figure out what their ideal wedding day is going to look like. So um, I always say if you have no idea what you're going to do or you know exactly what you want to do, either way, a wedding planner is a fantastic choice for you. Um, yeah, so any questions that you guys have um, as you watch this video back, leave them in the comments below and I will address them. And also, if there's any subjects that you guys are interested in hearing more about, um, let me know and I will address that in a future Facebook Live. Um, I am headed out to a lunch with uh, one of my really good wedding planner friends and so we're going to be chatting business and fun things and I hope you guys have a great day. It is beautiful outside today so uh i hope you get your butts outside at some point and yeah have a great day guys